Hey there gang, or as uh, Mamie uh, calls us, the big borders. Um, so this DAC situation here it is yeah, becoming convoluted and uh, an asshole. And uh, here's, the, here's the problem. Well, here's the situation first, I guess, with the best thing to do. Uh, and I've uh, recorded video and then changed my mind and, and uh, done things and undone them. And the bottom line is I uh, got the <laughs> I got the Commonwealth in Wapickle and, uh, and I can't get them out of it. And what has happened is, uh, as I was reading rereading the supply rules, I, I wanted to try and execute a breakout and you know get all these guys out of here and uh, and you know reform a line somewhere else and really well I, I think that's just delaying the inevitable uh, and the breakout roles uh, ended up putting about 75 percent of the forces and I think I may have mentioned in another video that will probably end up on the blog but 75% of the forces were going to turn up five or six turns later, uh, uh, just because of the way uh, units return. And uh, that that was just going to pose a big problem because all these guys would just get crushed by these forces. Uh, I think the Germans would gladly go, you know, ammo exhausted to, you know, overrun whatever they needed to in this area and then just powerhouse down towards Alexandria. So I looked at the rules. I was like, you know, this just didn't seem right. So uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do this breakout here. Let me just look at the attrition rules. And uh, so what happened was I kind of skipped from the breakout phase, which is the beginning of the turn, to the attrition phase, which is uh, you know part of supply. And so I missed you know the whole movement section and all the rest of it. And you can laugh at me as to why that happened, but it just did. It's late. It was one o'clock in the morning or something like that. And I'd spent an hour looking at you know options for everybody and ways around things. So I, you know, I went ahead and rolled for attrition, <laughs> put everyone back from the breakout, roll for attrition. And then of course, you know, I didn't really need to do that just yet. The bottom line uh, was, you know, I still had some tea uh, here, uh, some supply here, and I could fly in uh, 3T in that given turn which would keep pretty much everybody in supply in this pocket. And then we just have to roll for attrition for the big stack of uh, Commonwealth forces that were here. And they survived. So I'm thinking, okay, well, we're still in the game and we, we'll keep going. Well, you know, we're not really uh, because, uh, you know, I, okay, I've got to fly these guys back up to there, back up to Alexandria because they can't pull from here. They can't load. They've got to, We've got to load the aircraft from the, the hex they're in, from a dump that they're, where they're situated. So there's really probably shouldn't have put those T2T two, two, two there. So you can see already it's starting to get freaking convoluted. But the worst problem is all of my trucks are in Mercer. And that's just where they ended up when they were cut off. All of these trucks here are all divisional trucks. I'm going to zoom in on these guys here. You know, there's a nice big pile of divisional trucks. That's fantastic. Well, it's no use to me in trying to move supply up. They're all full, uh, but I have barely any divisional units here at, at all. Uh, I've got, you know, one South African guy. But to fuel all these uh, tank regiments and bits and pieces, there's one, one more guy there. Uh, you know, these, tank, these loose tank regiments and the, and the forces here in Jack's jock stack, I can, I can do the 7th Armoured, and I've got, uh, and I can do the, see, I can't do the 2nd New Zealand, because the 2nd New Zealand truck got uh, transferred off to the friggin' Middle East. Bottom line is, I'm, well, and there's another bottom line, so that's two bottom lines, that's how serious this is, right? So I, I'm screwed, I think, as the uh, Commonwealth player. Uh, I don't have the strength to fight my way out of this box. I don't have trucks here to conveniently and easily supply my forces. And uh, I'm going to, I can probably get by flying in supply and moving one T into the port every turn. Uh, but that is go, that port will be closed in, 
you know, probably at uh, the end of this term, which would be the end of the, the 1st of September. We're still goofing around the 1st of September. So it really has kind of got to the point where it's kind of convoluted and kind of difficult and, and hairy. And I think someone commented on a photograph I posted. It looks like a, a fur ball, and it is a fur ball. So I think I've, the German player has done a good enough job of isolating these forces that it is indeed just a matter of time before they are uh, consumed. And, uh, you know, I'm going to roll something bad for these guys eventually. And there's not enough uh, SP uh, to, you know, recover all of these guys' uh, ammo uh, levels, uh, supply levels, combat uh, supply levels, and get into the fight in time enough for us to prevent this from falling. I may be wrong, I don't know, but that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. Uh, and I mention all that because that would mean that we would need to wrap up this campaign. And, you know, I was very, very reluctant to do that because it is just so enjoyable and I really don't know that I'm ever going to get to play this again. So it's kind of a sad thing as well. And, uh, and it, it's so majestic in its scale and fantastic in terms of its, uh, uh, the way the, the game uh, flows and the, the breakthroughs that happen and the... Uh, uh, you know, the thought that needs to go into each turn is significant, but it's really good thinking. You're not thinking about how to use the rules. Uh, you're, you're thinking about how to execute on the tactics and how the, the, the rules give you the mechanics of what the designer thought was North African uh, desert combat in World War II. Uh, and, I, and although I'm not playing it well, and we're not properly representing history very well here, we are uh, experiencing things that could very well have happened. Uh, you know, it's those uh, those little breakthroughs that matter, and then how you exploit them and take take advantage of them, and where you choose to bring the force to bear. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's it, I, I'll I'll, uh, I'll look at this for another little while, but uh, the it would seem to me that uh, we have reached a a suitable endpoint in this uh, in this little uh, this little game here. All right, all the best.